The Eagles are all but cooked. Their season is all but over. The Philadelphia Eagles are nothing but a bunch of huge frauds. Why did they win against the Chiefs? It was Joe Biden's birthday. The commander-in-chief was going to celebrate the Philadelphia Eagles winning the Monday night football game. The Vegas is going to host the Super Bowl and celebrate record-breaking profits. This is the team that they want everyone to jump on right now today. This is a fraud team. This team did not beat the Chiefs. The Chiefs beat themselves. Jalen Hurts is a turnover machine. You don't get this easy ride to the Super Bowl this year. You don't play Daniel Jones. You don't play a team with scrub backup quarterbacks. You don't get any of these circumstances. You have to go through a much better NFC. Eagles will beat Buffalo because Buffalo is overrated. They only beat a trash Jets team. So, of course, they're going to beat Buffalo because this is still not a very good team. Dak is better. I take him over Jalen Hurts any day of the week. You got to know how the NFL works. They will not have this guy win the Super Bowl. They are going to have a quarterback with white blood win the Super Bowl. That's who they're going to have. He's number one on third down for a reason. He's number one in completion percentage on third down for a reason. He's number one in third down conversion percentage for a reason. Because that is Tom Brady, not Jalen Hurts. He has never, ever overcome adversity, ever. Even as they're turning the ball and everything, they still manage to win with the surrounding talent around them. This Eagle defense is overrated. They are not on the level of the Dallas Cowboys defense. The Dallas Cowboys defense is deadly dynamic because they know how to force turnovers. That is what's going well for the Dallas Cowboys. They just know how to force turnovers. That is what puts the Cowboys over the edge. A clutch quarterback who plays like Tom Brady the very first year without Tom Brady. A quarterback who owns the Eagles. I like that in the Cowboys team. Shut up all of the world in a couple of weeks or so when the Cowboys face off against the Eagles because that, that game was clearly gifted. They were very close in the goal line to beating the Eagles. It was just a matter of inches, both ways, to tie in, very close to the goal line. I think they got away with one right there. This team is not good. This team is who Las Vegas wants to win. They want the Eagles to win. A turnover machine and a very weakened defense are not core ingredients. They may win the division. The division is one of the most insignificant things you can win. You can be a wild card team and win the Super Bowl. It really shows how important these divisions are. They don't mean a damn thing. Go win your division, Banner, and you lose in the playoffs. It, it does not matter. At the end of the day, when you're 10 and 1 after you beat the Bills, this is who Vegas wants you to think. It's that he's a Jalen Hurts 23. I'll make it 23. The two rings for, for Stahlbaugh, three for Aikman, that's 23. That's 23 as well. We, we already know. I think we, we already know that this team is full of frauds. This team is fraudulent. Because that is the script. They are a fraudulent team. They are completely fraudulent. This is why the Chiefs have dropped these passes, because this is a fraudulent football team. 
I, I've seen what the Dallas D can do. I, I, I've seen the Eagles get lucky against the Cowboys too. But then again, I predicted the fraudulent team to defeat the real team, the Dallas Cowboys. This would be a big year for Las Vegas. It would be a big year. I don't think the Chiefs are done, but I think I, I think the Cowboy defense, uh, the, these Chiefs receivers, these guys can be scared if they go up against the Cowboy defense. This could be bloody murder. Maybe not bloody murder. Certainly if it wasn't up to chance, if it wasn't up to advertisement slots, maybe this, this the Dallas defense, would, 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 when you're one-dimensional, when you can't throw the ball deep, when you're one-dimensional, this only favors the Dallas defense. Buffalo will lose. Well, well, you see, all the talk is McDermott's going out the door, so there's always a chance the Bills are, are going to choke. But uh, then again, uh, if the Bengals win, then, you know, Steelers could be out. I could see a Bengal victory this week. Anyway, th 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 this team is, 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 is absolutely fraudulent. You have to understand. This team is not any good. You can't just sit here and say, oh, it goes away. Go say, beat the Chiefs. No, no, no. I think that's who they want the action on. Is this team beating the Niners? I'll, they may not even beat the Niners. Well, they could beat the Niners and still have the number one seed. Uh, if the Niners, you know, especially Kyler Murray, I mean, some divisional game there. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll go San Francisco. Now, this this uh, this kind of questions the this kind of begs question that the Eagles are fraudulent and and you know they they they, they, they want the public to think that oh my God they're the darling they're not a fraudulent team. Then I think if that's the case, I think they'll have uh, the Eagles beat the Niners. But uh, again. One team will be proven to be a fraud. I think once Debo came back and all these guys, your Christian McCaffrey's, then I think this is the team that they're everyone's all gonna jump on. Or the Cowboys beating the Niners? Hell yeah! Give me the Cowboys getting a defensive touchdown, a special team touchdown against the Niners, guaranteed. When you score zero points in the second half of Patrick Mahomes, that answers the question. Of course, of course, of course. I just can see 10 and 4 for Dak against the Eagles in the 104th season. So he's 8-4 and four right now, correctly predicted, because he would fall to 8-4 and four after facing off against the Rams prior week because the Rams is 84 and the Eagles uh, played in the Super Bowl Arizona because Arizona is 84. So again, 94 months after he's drafted, Dak wins the Super Bowl. His mom is born on 9-4. Number 9, Tony Romo replaced by number 4. Got to go 9-4 against the Eagles. The Eagles are frauds. It's between Dallas and San Francisco. So, so maybe the frauds come in the divisional round. Oh, 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 good you at Philadelphia. Well, the way the Cowboys' home win streak is going, it just does not surprise me if the Cowboys come back and win the division. But then the fraud team beats the Chiefs and the Bills, then it's going to be a little bit of a tall order because who do they play after the Cowboys? Basically, you know, the emotion of the Cowboy fans going to hope that Buffalo wins, but Buffalo's not winning. Philadelphia's going to win this week, as I explained to you. And then if uh, Cowboys is 102, then, you know, the Eagles can only go 10-2 and two against the Cowboys. Am I remembering this schedule correctly? It's about to get juicy. Eagles can beat the Bills, and then if they lose against the Niners, then this opens things up against the Dallas Cowboys. You could be talking about a two-game losing streak potentially. So Niners have to beat the Eagles, and then it's only going to make December 10th even more of a juicier game where the division is up for grabs. I mean, the Dallas Cowboys are in the running for home field. 
it wasn't thought of a long time ago, but if the Niners are 7-3, if the Cowboys are, you know, 7-3, and if the Eagles lose against the Niners and lose against the Cowboys, then the Cowboys are back into the discussion for the number one home field, obviously, with the 49ers having a tiebreaker advantage. But then the Bills needing to beat the Dallas Cowboys to make it to the playoffs will probably damper the number one seed. But the Cowboys will get back in the running for the number one seed uh, in the next couple few weeks because that's how they're going to make it interesting. There ain't no chance they win at the Raiders Stadium. You got to understand. You got to learn. You got to learn. Nah, they don't have a chance because it's tax year. Oh, Dak Prescott. Oh. Masses be sheep. They be all emotion. They be uh, they be a uh, tribalistic. But I look at last quarterback to defeat Tom Brady, and the Dak Prescott is also number one when facing quarterback pressures. I was surprised to find that out. One thing he was doing very well. Uh, dating back to my night football game is he's using his feet uh, to escape the pocket, to escape the pressure. So he has kept his composure and kept the eyes uh, downfield. I could see the Super Bowl psyop where the Cowboys beat the Niners in the NFC Championship game and then the Chiefs beat the Ravens. There's up the Super Bowl caller says uh, the Ravens will face off against the 49ers. So I can really see a Cowboys, Niners, and uh, Ravens, uh, Chiefs uh, conference championships, but then white supremacy wins again. These half white quarterbacks make it to the Super Bowl. Dak half white, he makes race. So is Patrick Mahomes. NFL going to screw over Hurts. They're going to screw over Lamar Jackson because. The, the white man, uh, the white owners there, these guys write the script. So ultimately, it's just some 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 psyop, I think, for Las Vegas that they really try to push this, this 49ers Raven psyop all the way to conference title week. Then you know that's exactly what they're trying to do. If they push all that nonsense to conference title week, then you know something fishy about to happen. But Buffalo, they're in the running for a new coach. Jim Harbaugh will be probably off to the Buffalo Bills to win the Super Bowl with them. He'll be off to Buffalo. If he wants to win right away, then it's with the Buffalo Bills. Yeah, now, the Niners did have a talented roster back in 2010, but no one really saw a quick turnaround, but if he goes to the Bills, then they will see uh, a pretty quick turnaround. But it'll still be a few playoff heartbreaks because it's vintage Harbaugh to go through a few heartbreaks. But then he actually has the quarterback this time around. He doesn't have some scrub like Kaepernick or Alex Smith. He, he, he has Josh Allen. So that's the one thing that will keep him there for years. Andy Reid in Philly, except he will win the Super Bowl when he goes into the new stadium. Harbaugh likes defense. Niners had great defenses. That's kind of how Michigan is built. So I think uh, he'll take on identity very quickly if he were to become Buffalo coach. He certainly is used to the cold. I'll give him that. Uh, we, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know yet. We don't know yet. But anyway, the Eagles are fun. Um, Cowboys may lose to Buffalo. That may be Buffalo's ticket to kind of get into the playoffs. Uh, maybe, but then. Uh, even if the Bills get dismantled in the wild card round, that is still 
something that can force the coach out, even if they don't miss the playoffs outright, that if you have a, a Miami or a Baltimore, then they could get blown out against these kind of teams. And if the Bills lose to the Eagles, then you're talking about a must win against the Chiefs. Do you get? I really see the Chiefs losing to Buffalo. No. I think Buffalo need Jim Harbaugh. Other teams may lose. Buffalo may probably stay alive, but then again, Miami's going to be playing for home field in week 17. If the Dallas Cowboys don't eliminate these guys, if they're not eliminated even after losing against the Eagles and the Chiefs, then week 17 will just have to be the final dagger. They may beat the Cowboys, but still be in a position to control their own destiny. I really like the Jim Harbaugh over to Buffalo. It seems to be the most realistic place. It seems like um, instead of the Chargers, the Bills is somewhere that you can go where you'll be ready to win right away. Even though I can see why the people say that the Chargers have one of the most uh, talented rosters and should do better and all that. But just looking at the playoff pedigree, the playoff experience, just Buffalo has got to be the team if you're Jim Harbaugh. Well, yeah, Eagles are fraud. They're going to lose. The number one home field will be really interesting. Cowboys will get right back in it. People will accuse the reps of helping the Cowboys or Roger Goodell or whatever. But what does go well for Dallas is that they will not lose a game at Jerry World the rest of the way. So it's really how you do on the road. But, yeah, I'm looking forward to the game. Well, the NFC playoff race is boring. I do like how getting rid of the two first round buys adds a little bit more of an incentive to compete for home field. So, you know, uh, number one in the conference would already have home field already under the old format. So that's kind of why I like the new format in a way is because these, uh, the, uh, the conference record just matters a lot when you're number one versus number two, when you have three teams tied in first to third in a conference that if there is no head to head, then it comes down the conference record. So I, I do like the new format. You know, it's basically the same out of playoff games as old. If you think the game between number two and number seven is garbage, then, you know, don't watch. Like I didn't watch the Steelers against the 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 Chiefs. I, I didn't watch the the Bills against a mediocre Dolphins team last year. I didn't watch the Bears against the Saints. So that extra game, if it's mediocre, then don't 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 watch it. I mean, it just don't matter. You don't have to watch it. Zero, zero. That, that's probably the most bad matchup. That's bad for business. That's bad for business. People are going Niners Chiefs or the Ravens 49ers. So, you know, they'll probably push this Ravens Niners, say up the public conference title week. It's just how I see it happening. And, and again, I don't see the Cowboys uh, getting home field or any of that. I, 
I think the Eagles are going to be exposed as frauds, and the Cowboys will shock the world against San Francisco. That's what about to go down because th- 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 that's why it's a rivalry. It's a rivalry. It's going to be a rivalry again. It's called a rivalry. It ain't going to be this one sided no more. You get a lead on Brock Purdy, Cowboys strike first, it's over. Just get the first three, seven points. It's over. Squawk quarterback can't play from behind. 10 nothing lead. Easy cakewalk against the Buck. Front quarterback. Front quarterback. I like Shan Sharp. He's right about that. He's a fraud. He's a system quarterback. He, he's no Dak Prescott. He brought, they can really wish they had Dak Prescott as quarterback, the 49ers. They may be a more physical team. And it should no no business. This matchup has no business showing up this lopsided as it did. Because the Cowboys are a physical team. They are number one in quarterback pressure. I I, I like to play chess. I ain't into that check on nonsense. 49ers can be caught by surprise with some looks. The Cowboys, they're going to give these guys. what They didn't give these guys the looks earlier in the because it's October. It's insignificant. You don't show your hand that early in the season. This is why they lost against the Eagles. Same way. Show the real Cowboys when the playoffs start. Let's play checker. No, no checker. Play chess. Play chess. And curse of Jimmy Johnson is over. He's being inducted to the Cowboys Ring of Honor. This, at the time, the Cowboys were 6-3. and three. They had this guy at Carolina on the pregame. Cowboys were 6-3 and three at the time of this announcement. They'll be 6-3 and three in the Super Bowl. So who's the longest? Without Tom Brady, who's the longest tenured quarterback on a team? It's Dak. It's got to be Dak. It's got to be him. He is him. He is him. Third down proves it. Handing, handling pressure proves it. He's practically a 30 touchdown guy, but again, when the defense has been spotting turnovers and then, you know, the Cowboys rush it in, then, you know, it ain't about individual stats. It's about the Dallas Cowboys. It's about the team. The Chiefs will beat Lamar Jackson. The Chiefs will. They'll hit. They'll they'll, they'll, they'll. they'll just catch the football when the playoff starts. It could really care less if the Chiefs fail to make the Super Bowl. Because if, if they fail to make it to the Super Bowl, then it means this whole Chiefs repeat goes out the door. I like the history between the two teams. I like everything that comes down with it. Well, I already did a video on Argentina. You can see that. I did the video on Argentina to beat uh, Brazil today, you know. Uh, I, I like Colombia because they beat Brazil. Colombia should be able to continue to kind of be red hot. So I like Colombia. The Argentina Uruguay final looks very good because, especially after Uruguay defeated Argentina, these two teams will face off in the final of Copa America. Are the Eagles a fraud team? Damn well, they're fraud.
If they beat the Eagles, they'll have to lose against Buffalo. I think they'll have to lose against Buffalo. If they beat the Eagles, they're probably losing against Buffalo. The, the Dallas Cowboys, though, uh, Miami, even if they lose against Miami, Cowboys are winning the Super Bowl. The Dolphins beat the Cowboys. We talk about a Super Bowl rematch. I believe Miami in the Super Bowl when I see it. When I see it. Hey, that. Dak got to be more clutch than Patrick Mahomes. Dak leads the game winning drive. They win the Super Bowl with the 35th points in the game. Dallas Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Dallas Cowboys put the game to bed. If 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 Tom Brady saw the defense choke against the Giants twice, well, one Super Bowl uh, they practically didn't show up. Uh, the way I can see this, if Patrick Holmes loses the Super Bowl, then he just he will not lose it. He will just his defense will lose it at the very at the very end. That's just how I see it. If it happened to Tom Brady, then he probably won't get the ball last. Uh, Dak gets the ball last, and that will decide the Super Bowl. Uh, if, if the Dallas defense doesn't already win it. I, I, I would love to see a Legion of Boom Peyton Manning kind of Super Bowl where the deep bench just takes over and wrecks havoc. When you don't have a deep passing game, it is one-dimensional offense. And the Cowboys are not a fraud team like the Eagles. The Eagles have a Swiss cheese defense. Cowboys don't have a Swiss cheese defense. That was a fraud defense last night. A fraud, a fraud defense that got lucky. That they, All they had to do was hold on to the ball. But the, 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 the Chiefs gifted it to the commander and chief for his birthday the Eagles had to win because it's Joe Biden's birthday. But, oh, of course, it's Joe Biden. They don't see a Philadelphia team win the championship. Blah, 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 blah. I'm making that. I'm making that. May Dak Prescott be a 35th quarterback to win a Super Bowl. That includes the ones who won multiple rings. Whole world be watching those Cowboys. Hope they lose. Dak, his dead brother, his dead mom. Dak takes the glory for them. Uh, no one should should bitch and whine that the Cowboys win the Super Bowl because you gotta you gotta feel good for Dak on, on, on a human level. That's what's about to go down. I see the I see the the ritual of the Super Bowl being played out. Honoring Dak's mom, born on 9 4, 94 months after Dak was drafted. It's pretty much a done deal. And that's how the Cowboys can prove the 9 4 against the Eagles in games that Prescott has played against Philadelphia. If Patrick Mahomes is a favorite to win MVP, then this fits into the Super Bowl MVP curse. So him and Lamar Jackson are are are, are candidates. Probably the top two ones. Because Tua has not beaten a team that's over 500. So this would mean it's between Lamar and Patrick Mahomes for MVP. So yeah, Eagles are a fraud team. Niners are going to lose against Dallas. Uh, George Kill be wearing his fuck Dallas shirt on Super Bowl Sunday. Can't script any better. Uh, Cowboys beat the Chiefs. Uh, Dak, Dak Prescott is this year's Tom Brady. Maybe you got to script it and start dropping balls and practice your part of the script that was there ever since Cadavious Tony in week one. And it's all going to continue until the very end where some key drops hurt the Chiefs or a ball goes off the hands of the Chiefs receiver into a Dallas defensive back's hands. That's how they can pick off the Chiefs. 
when Mahomes doesn't make a deflection, it goes goes off the fingertips of the Chiefs receiver. This is how they can gift it right right to the Cowboy defense. It's that easy. 